In this video, we're reviewing Glenfiddich's 18-year-old. You'd be really hard-pressed to find a liquor store anywhere in the world that doesn't have Glenfiddich. Um, we don't have that. It is the best-known whiskey in the world. In fact, ask any of your friends who don't drink whiskey if they can name a whiskey, and they'll probably say Glenfiddich. Family run since 1887. I'm Glenfiddich. Unlearn whiskey. Glenfiddich. The world's most awarded single malt Scotch whiskey. What else would they say? Glenlivet. Jim Beam. Callum. Johnny Red. Sometimes Glenfiddich can get a bad rep for that. Because most whiskey connoisseurs say, oh, Glenfiddich, it's too popular to be good. Wouldn't you like to be popular? I can kind of see where they're coming from. Yes, it's probably chill filtered. Yes, maybe it's artificially colored. Is that your natural hair color? That doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. I mean, it's not a good thing. I'm not going to go out and say, yeah, let's artificially color everything. I never said that. I would never have said that. I mean, that'd be ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But I don't think it's fair to say just because it's artificially colored or just because it's non-chill filtered automatically makes it a bad whiskey. Just because it's popular doesn't mean it's not worth trying. In fact, the Glenfiddich range is pretty interesting. If you start with the 12-year-old, the 15-year-old, and the 18-year-old, because they're all done in the same kind of casks, a mixture of Oloroso Sherry and American Bourbon, you can get a really interesting experience about what age does to whiskey. Oh my god, you're so old. Don't dismiss Glenfiddich just because it's popular. It's worth trying, and it's worth learning from. Can you at least learn a little something? One thing that Glenfiddich does say for their 18-year-old is that it's made in small batches. Oh. It's really small. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's freaky small. Well. Small batch to Glenfiddich is not really the same as a small batch in other places. When they say small batch, they mean 150 casks. Is that a lot? That's a lot. And 150 casks is a lot. Wow, that's huge. Some distilleries don't make that much whiskey in an entire year. So, small batch? F -F. Don't get me wrong, I can be as arrogant and pretentious about whiskey as anyone. But let's give this a shot and see what it's like. It's got some nice legs, and you need to be careful when you say that about an 18 year old. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> yeah, that's probably fake coloring. On the nose, the first thing that hits you are light, floral, fruity notes. It's also a bit earthy, so a bit like freshly cut grass. Love the smell of fresh cut grass. Glenfiddich 18-year-old is an off-dry whiskey, which means it's not particularly sweet. It's also light-bodied, so it doesn't coat your mouth very much. And I wouldn't say the alcohol is perfectly integrated, so it does burn a bit. Can't you see I'm burning, burning? And all of that sounds negative, which I don't really mean it to be. I don't mean to sound like I don't like this. It's good. It hits all the notes that you want Glenfiddich to hit. It's your typical Speyside whiskey. It does have some sweetness coming through. It's got some cinnamon. It's good. It's light. It's floral. It's all of those things. It's like, it's like going to a Beach Boys reunion tour. I love the Beach Boys. You know when you go, they're going to play all of the hits. You're going to get Serving USA. You're going to get They're going to play all the songs that you're waiting to hear. And that's what Glenfiddich does with this whiskey. You get exactly what you expect. There's nothing unusual, there's nothing that's surprising. It's all the hits, everything you want to taste. And that's good. It delivers what you want in a Speyside whiskey. This is exactly what I wanted. Now the finish. This might be a bit controversial. A galactic controversy. Because I think it's got a pretty big finish. I think it kind of hits you. And I think a lot of that is from the strong alcohol. Most people that review this whiskey say it has a light finish and quick, short, sharp, easy finish. And I don't pick that up. I actually think it lingers for a bit. 
It's maybe one noted and not very complex, but it's definitely there, and I think it's kind of pleasant. It's been very pleasant. Okay, so, big question. What do you think of this whiskey? Click the I above my head and let us know. Do you like Glenfiddich 18 year old or would you rather not have it? This is a pretty divisive whiskey and I think there are lots of people that will say, can't stand it. And I don't blame you if that's what you vote for. But we're really curious to see what you think. The decision is yours. I struggle to rate this whiskey. On the one hand, I do like it. It does deliver what I'm looking for. It's exactly what a Speyside whiskey should do. And like I said earlier, when you have the 12 year old, the 15 year old, and the 18 year old all in a row, it's really interesting to see the way that age impacts a whiskey. And I think that's really cool. I feel a butt coming out. I feel like I want more from it. It's just something's missing. And to me, part of that is the fact that it's only 40%. That's a really low percentage of alcohol for an 18-year-old whiskey. So for this price, you're paying 60% for water. Do you want some water? No. And that's not right. I feel like there really are some interesting flavors here. And if Glenfiddich bottled it at a higher proof with more alcohol, I think you'd get more complexity and a lot more taste coming through. But they don't. We don't do that. That said, my approach to rating a whiskey is starting it good and then thinking, is there something that tips it over to be very good? Is there something that's wrong with it that makes it acceptable? Is there something outstanding that really pushes it above? Is there something terrible about it that makes it unacceptable? And when I really think about Glenfiddich, There's something here that I do like. This is definitely more than a good whiskey. I think to say that it's just good is unfair. So I do think that Glenfiddich 18 year old is a very good whiskey because it's got some character. There's something here that is nice. But would I recommend that you necessarily go out and buy a bottle of it? Don't do that. Because I really rate the Glenfiddich 15 year old. And I don't think that the Glenfiddich 18 delivers a lot more than the 15 does. And for my money and what I think you should do with yours. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my father. Spend it on the 15 year old. Because at the end of the day, age is not necessarily a sign of quality. It's just information about the whiskey. And just because something's older doesn't make it better. Being young is just as confusing as being old. I think the Glenfiddich 18 is a very good whiskey. But I also think the Glenfiddich 15 is a very good whiskey. In fact, I probably think the Glenfiddich 15 is more interesting and has a bit more complexity than the 18. So if it were me, I'd buy the 15 over the 18. <gasps> My God! So I would recommend doing a Glenfiddich vertical tasting. Try the 12, the 15, and the 18 all in a row and experience what age does to a whiskey. And I think that's a really cool night and a great thing to do with lots of your friends. I say cool. It's probably a bit geeky. But geeky is cool now. You know what's really cool? I don't. Leave a comment down below to let us know what you think of Glenfiddich 18. It's pretty controversial. Some people are probably going to think that I've been too harsh, and some people are going to think that I'm not harsh enough. Well, I want to know what you think. And subscribe to our channel. Just click the subscribe button and we'll see you next week. We post a new video every Wednesday.